Hey, what's going on everyone? JS Games here coming at you with a Pokemon opening and it's Scarlet and Violet release weekend. I'm sure you guys are probably picking up your own products. We have the new cards, new rotation. Well, I picked up two of the Elite Trainer boxes from my local game store and I thought it'd be cool to make a video opening these up and going through everything. And maybe we'll do like a pack battle on which ETB was the better one. So you get nine packs, you get a promo card, energies, sleeves, dividers, uh, and then dice and counters, and it all comes in this nice storage box. So it's the same for each one, it's just different artwork and a promo, you know, goes with the corresponding Pokemon that's on the cover. But yeah, we'll do an opening. This is my first Scarlet and Violet opening. I have a booster box that's arriving as well. Uh, but that's not quite here yet. All right, so I got the plastic off. We have our packaging here. We'll get our packs out. We have our counters. I'll open all these up later, but we got our dividers. This is just really nice for newer players or if you're a returning player. I'm a newer player myself. Here's our awesome, cool full art promo. Really like the way that looks. And we have our dice and our sleeves. I really like the way those look as well. But yeah, I'm basically a new player. I collected Pokemon a couple years ago. I never really got into the playing aspect of the game. I was just collecting like the the GXs. Um, and then I, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player at heart, so I kind of just stopped and I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh and collected a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, but now I'm kind of back into Pokemon and I gotta say these are really nice. I mean I have some of these like dice and counters already from different products but I'm constantly building different decks and it's just nice to always have these around for the new decks that you're building. I don't know if there's a card trick or anything to this. Let's just see what's going on here. So hopefully you guys can see that. Oh I see something shiny already but let's not get ahead of, our, ahead of ourselves. We have a Starly. Some of these Pokemon I do not know, but. All right, we have, okay, so we have a reverse uh, Metatite, reverse Pokeball, and, oh, okay, we have Arbol, Arboliva? Or, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna know. Oh, and then our energy. So we don't really need to do a, a card trick, do we? Uh, I guess we could move the energy to the front, but um, forgive me, we're not gonna do a card trick. We're just gonna leave everything as is. But we'll set our hollows and stuff to the side and we'll uh, we'll compare the two boxes. It'll be interesting to see if we have any if we have any good hits or not. All right, I got some chill music going too, so hopefully. We can all just enjoy this opening together. Lechonk, okay, okay. So Viper and uh, Arm Armorouge. I think that's how you say it. That's from. I haven't played the games yet, but I recognize that card. I guess we'll separate our. Even though the reverses really don't add anything. Unless it's maybe a, a playable reverse, but we'll set those aside too. Alright. We have Floatzel, Sandial, and Professor's Research. Oh, that's nice to see. That's always a good holo to get. So, do we get a hollow per pack? Or is that just kind of how our luck's been so far? I don't really know how these new packs are set up. But, I mean, so far it's looking pretty good. Nothing too crazy yet, though. Oh yeah, and Pokemon tools are their own type now, which is interesting. We have a Reverse Magneton, Zangoose, and a Skeledurge. I think that's how you say the name. So you, it just seems like you get a hollow per pack. 
it's been a long time since I've opened up Pokemon packs, so forgive me. <clears throat> Rare candy. I actually need that for one of my decks, so that's pretty good. We got the silver borders, too. I didn't even talk about that. We got the new silver borders. Okay. Oh, there's a reverse Skeledurge. Okay. We have a Squavit? Squavit? And an Indeedee. Okay. That's interesting. So nothing too crazy yet. We have four packs left. I'm hoping for some fire at the end here, but... The way it's been going, I think um, the Mirrodon box has a good chance of being the better one, but who knows. Nest Ball. There we go. This card's going to see a, a lot of play. We have a Grievard, a Char Cadet. Oh, Halucha. That's a playable card. That looks really nice. And we have our fire energy. Okay, so, I mean, we have all hollows. Nothing spicy yet, but this Halucha is good. So that helps with the, with the competition we have going on. All right, let's see. Electric generator. Not bad. This is in the new, like, Mirrodon, Reggie, Alecki deck that's kind of running around. Judge, another card that's probably going to see a lot of play. We have Crocolore, Reverse Pokemon Catcher, and whatever this card is, Meow Scarada. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Two packs left. We might have something here at the end. It's hard to tell. Arvin, that's a nice new uh, trainer card that we have. We have Slowpoke, Clauncher. What do we have here? Oh, Arcanine. EX. The full art. Wow. The texture. Oh, wow. I love this. This is awesome looking. Okay, this might not be like the most playable card, but when I saw like the leaks for this at first, I mean, the artwork's amazing. This is definitely going to go in my collection binder. Yeah, not the most playable. Okay, that helped out a lot. We got one pack left. Can we end with another good pull? That helped out a lot. Again, I don't think it's worth a whole lot and it's not very playable, but that artwork. Arcanine's always been one of my favorites, so just seeing that is fantastic. Okay. We might have something good at the end. I don't know. We have another judge. We have Scylla Cobra. Oh, Reverse Beach Court. That's, that's really good, actually. That should go here. Beach Court's going to see a lot of play. Oh, and we have uh, Mur uh, Miraidon. So, just the regular, not the EX version. I don't think this card's too crazy, but... I mean, it's still pretty cool. It's one of the new legendary Pokemon, but... Okay, this actually... I mean, we don't have anything too crazy here. I think the beach court's actually really nice, but we have Arcanine EX, the full art here. Halucha is going to see some play. Beach court. I actually wanted this in the reverse. I actually, the deck I'm putting this in is all reverse cards, reverse rares. So this actually fits quite well, but yeah. Okay. Not awful. Uh... Could, could, could probably be a little better, not gonna lie, but that Arcanine is really nice. So we'll set our pile off to the side here. I'll make some room and we'll go through the purple box next. We have our purple sleeves. Those look nice. We have our, oh, okay. I like the artwork of this one a lot more. 
That's pretty cool. We have our pack of energies here. Let's get our packs out. Nine packs of goodness. We have, oh, these are nice. I thought these were gonna be, oh, I guess I didn't even look at the other side. I thought these were here, purple, but then on the other side, they're gold. I'm assuming the Corridon ones are, oh, yep. Those are actually really nice. Okay, I like the gold. I did not notice that before. And then we have our dice and tokens again. So, all right, let's move all this to the side and get into our packs. We have, again, this is our first box here. We'll do a little comparison. All right, nine packs. Let's jump into this. It's hard to tell if we have something because they're all still... Oh, Miriam, nice new supporter. Uh, because everything's silver and shiny, so it's like, well, it's just hard to say until you actually see the card. But we have... Oh, boy. We have... Reverse Rare... Or a Reverse Hollow Wug Trio. And Gyarados EX Full Art, just like our Arcanine and our energy wow okay so starting off we have this awesome looking full art gyarados ex so neither one's really playable but i'm gonna say these two kind of cancel each other out in terms of who's winning uh in terms of box value uh, i would assume these are probably gonna be close in price anyways i mean it's the same rarity it's like the same art style and everything, and neither one's exactly playable. But regardless, I mean, those look sick. So, okay, well, it's gonna be tough now. I guess we'll see if this box has any more fire, but starting off strong for sure. All right, so let's go through the second pack and see what we got. Arvin. We have Klotzer, Sprigagito, and uh, this guy again, <laughs> and our water energy. Wow, okay, well, that's pretty cool we got those full art EXs. They look awesome. All right, moving on to pack number three. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, two rock chest plates. I guess that works. We have Tarantula, uh, Riolu, and Anna. Oh, I don't know how to say that name. Not even going to try. Looks pretty cool, though. I do like the way that these hollows look. All right, what is this? Pack number four? Pack number four, I think. Reverse Drifloon and Professor's Research with the other professor on it. I forgot there's like two professors. I'm not really sure how that works. I haven't played the game, but that's pretty cool. All right, pack number five. Let's see what we got. So we have a hollow Arbaliva, Arbaliva. Again, I'm really bad with these names. I'm so sorry. All right, so now we're moving on to pack number six. So far, the elite trainer boxes have been very similar it's a it's like a straight tie in terms of what has better cards and value very similar boxes here another nest ball i'll take it gonna want a couple of those we have toxel oh full art sand dial that's really cool and an armor rouge okay 
So we have a full art. I don't think this is worth anything, but it's still a full art that we did not have with the, the red <laughs> Elite Trainer box. So as of right now, I think the Mirrodon box is winning. So we can just kind of set those off to the side. Again, I don't think that sand dial is really worth a whole lot. It looks cool. I'm a big fan of the way Pokemon does their full arts, but hey, it's a full art. We'll take it. All right, three packs left. This is pack number seven. We have Jacques. We have a... Well, let me just fix our pile here. We have Char Cadet, uh, Dedene, and oh, what do we have? What do we have? Toxicroak EX. Okay, it's official. The the purple box is winning for sure. We haven't even finished yet, but we got our second EX here from this box. Not a full art, but that still looks really cool. I'm really glad that they decided to bring back the EXs. I've, I always thought they were interesting cards, and I never really got to play with them, but of course I've seen them and, you know, things like that, but yeah, EXs are back. I think that's pretty cool. We have Flubbebe, Magnemite, and Dondozo. All right, well, one pack left. Can we end with some heat? Let's find out. Let's see what we got. Experience share, Stowe Journer. We have Capsa Kid. And this other card I don't know how to say. And Corridon. Okay. Well, both boxes were very similar. Both of them had these beautiful full arts. These look amazing. But we have the Sandile full art and the Toxicroak EX. Our first box here had the Arcanine EX, although we did get the Halucha and the Beach Court, which are both very playable. But I think the Miraidon box wins. But let me know which box you think won, in your opinion. I'd love to read your comments. I'm going to open up some more Scarlet and Violet packs on the channel. You might see some in the form of shorts. But yeah, I just thought we'd do an opening here. I am going to be trying to make as much content as possible in terms of real life decks and Pokemon TCG live gameplay and deck profiles that way. So stay tuned for those. I'm really excited with this new era and this new format to start jumping into content creation and openings and things like that. So I hope you follow along for the journey. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Let me know what you think of Scarlet and Violet. What cards are you looking to pick up from the set? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.